Hey everyone, it's me, Jared. I'm, I'm back with another video. Uh, just a little update to the channel. Uh, by the way, my girlfriend got me this hat, and I didn't know I would like wearing hats. I don't. I have no idea what the logo means, but it's a hat, and I like it. So I just want to kind of give you guys an update of what I want to do to the channel, because I want to make a couple of changes to it. Because um, I, I, I've been doing all my freelancing, and I've got a couple of gaming channels that I do some work for. Uh, all of it's editing, but it's pretty cool. I get to. It's fun being around and editing gaming content that's not your own. It, it's given me a weird kind of perspective on it. But uh, now that I, I mean, now that six months ago, you know, I didn't have a job. Well, I did have a job, but I didn't have a lot of disposable income. And now I kind of have a little bit of disposable income, you know, just a little bit. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start setting aside uh, some money each month just to, to buy more games. Because I, I think one of the things that would make gaming a little bit more fun for me, because, I mean, it's fun now because I don't get to play video games as much as I used to, so sitting down and playing games is fun. But... I want to just kind of explore and find more games that I like, you know, and I mean, I'll probably just post them on the channel, you know, like Project Zomboid, I really want to play it, I haven't bought it yet, or at least I think, did I buy it? I don't remember if I bought it or not, but like, I've always had this weird thing, I used to have this thing actually, where I, I was big on like dedicating myself to one game, you know, so it's kind of like... Rainbow Six Siege. I was unwilling to buy other games because playing any other game that was not Rainbow Six Siege was a complete and utter 100% waste of time. Which, it's like, well, okay, sure, you know. But I don't feel that way anymore. I, I just kind of feel like that definitely took the fun out of it. Like, I could have taken some, some time in the past, definitely the past few years and you know played some games that are on my computer that I haven't even touched like hold on a second balloons I haven't played which I mean I, I've kind of wanted to um there's another one a uh, reign of kings I haven't played reign of kings I've seen it and I want to play it but I never made time to play reign of kings like I just haven't you know um and there's other games that I've seen like this game, I don't know if it's on Switch or computer, but it's called Chasm. It looks really cool. I'm actually, I found it because of this guy I'm editing for. He played it, and I'm like, that looks like a game that I want to play, you know? Uh, there's a lot of the civilization scenarios that, like, like Vikings, and um, I think there's one, one that I just started on my Xbox. I call it, an, I call it Mars, where I made Earth just as inhospitable as possible. And I started off in, like, a different age. Never done that before, you know? Might as well try it out. Um, there's things in Universe Sandbox I haven't done. Uh, Undertale I don't care about. Uh, Total War Napoleon is an okay game, but I kind of never tried to get into it. Like, there's a lot of games where um, there was one that was a really good one. I'm trying to find it here. There was one game, Crusader Kings 2. Crusader Kings 2 is a game that I personally believe that it, it left a pretty bad impression on me. You know, I honestly didn't really like it so much. But it's a game that I believe I could get into. You know, it's a game that I want to try more because it's a different type of strategy game. Like, I've, you know, I don't know a lot about it, but that's okay. And I just never got into it. Of course, you know, it made a bad first impression on me. Because I thought it was going to be, like, faster paced. And I think I stopped because initiating battles wasn't easy enough. It was hard to make it so you could actually go to war with someone. And I never just sat through... At that time, I, I was a pretty, pretty sore loser when it came to strategy games. So I was like, well, I can't go to war easy. I'm going to lose. Screw this. You know, that's kind of what I did. And now I'm a little bit, definitely more mature last time I played that game, and I want to get back into it. You know, at least try it. 
maybe it's just not the game for me. But yeah, those two years, uh, probably more than that, I just like never made extra time to just sit and play new games. Because I think I think playing new games is important, even if you don't, you know, you can't do good at them, you don't win. But I just feel like for me, I want to try games, find some new experiences. Um, uh, one that happened. There's this game I don't remember the name of it, but one that me and my friend Austin one day just decided to play. It, it's a game that's like. It reminds me of Minecraft. God, I, I don't remember the name of it. It's kind of like Minecraft, where it's block-based, but it's kind of got a Roblox feel to it. It was on Xbox. And we were like, let's play it. And I played it, and I don't really like it. It's not the game for me, but I could see where people would like it, you know. And, and it kind of made me think about things differently, you know. And there's, there's things that... I've done, like, uh, for instance, in Minecraft, I played Civilization 3. One time I tried to build a Civilization 3 map in Minecraft. And I didn't get very far. But, like, like things like that, playing other games, influencing how you play other games and look at them, like, it's cool. And uh, there's a game that I played. I never delved into the genre, because honestly, because I didn't want to buy the games into it. And I also felt like I didn't... This is going to sound really dumb, but I felt like since it wasn't financially viable on YouTube, even though you can make anything work on YouTube with enough smarts and skill, you know, it was uh, 2D platformers on the computer. I really like 2D platformers, you know, that's some of the first games I played. The first game I 100%ed was Super Mario World, you know, uh, with the help of my brother, a lot of help from him, but, you know, that's still an experience i like games like that i like you know i don't just play first person well i don't just like first person shooters and strategy games and for the past god knows how long that's all i've been playing and those games are still fun i want to try out some other stuff like project zomboid you know and i think i've also reached a point where i'm okay with spending you know setting aside uh 30 bucks even Twenty, ten, five dollars, and buying a game after you know maybe just going in blind or doing some research, whatnot. And I'm okay with it, you know, not being a good game. That was another thing was I was I was intent that every single game that I bought was good. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Just an update video saying, hey, well, I guess it's kind of like a normal video, <laughs> but yeah, I want to experience more games. I want to experience more types of games that I haven't, you know, not necessarily uploaded on the YouTube channel, just haven't played at all. I mean, I've never played Reign of Kings, but I've seen some funny, funny, funny videos about Reign of Kings. And I'm also okay. It's weird, now that I moved out, I'm really okay with just going into game chat and talking to people. It's weird. It's really, really weird. Kind of because my mom judged me a little bit on uh, having internet friends. But, eh, I moved out. It doesn't matter anymore. So, yeah, I'm Jared the Casual Gamer. Thank you for watching. I don't know when I'm actually going to start buying video games or playing new ones. I still have to work on quitting my job first with my freelance business. But, yeah, I'm excited for this year. It's January 2nd, and I'm already more excited about starting this year than like I have been in a while. Probably the last time I got excited was like this starting a project was last year when I made that content plan. Or no, probably actually last year when I switched to making, focusing on Civilization VI content. So yeah, uh, I'm Jared. I'll see you guys in the next one.